Hi, I'm Troy, and welcome back to another On the Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Today we're working on the Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. The part we're looking at today is the thermostat, which is located inside the fresh food section. It's gonna to connect to the refrigerator control. Possible customer complaints or possible issues with the refrigerator could be no cool. It could be a continuous run, so not shutting off. So to do this repair, we have to access it from the refrigerator side. The tools needed to complete this repair are a quarter inch nut driver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a tack puller or flat blade screwdriver. To access and remove the actual thermostat in this unit, we have to remove a few different parts so that we can easily get it out and change it. We won't have to remove the fascia cover, we have to remove the control and thermostat housing. We have to remove the cover going along the side as well as all the way in the back, you have a damper cover as well. We have to remove all those parts to be able to change out the thermostat. So what we're gonna do first is remove the fascia off of this uh, control housing. It, it isn't necessarily the easiest part to remove. It may seem and feel like you're gonna break it as you're doing so and you very well could, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this. But what we're gonna do is open the freezer door. I'm gonna use my tack puller, and what some people will do, and what is not necessarily a bad idea, is to put a little bit of tape right here, if you want, tape right here so you're not putting metal on the actual unit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my tack puller in here. I'm gonna pry the corner up. Once the corner's pried up, I should be able to get it to pop loose. Once I've got it to pop loose, I'm gonna continue to work along the top until it releases, and then it should fold off and come out. Now see that we have one, two screws on the front, then along the back, we have one screw and two screws. They're all four quarter inch nut drivers. As you can see, they all are quarter inch, so we're gonna go ahead and remove them from the unit so that we can get the control panel down. The two in the front are easily seen and easily accessible. The ones in the back, you gotta get down to look up to see where they're at. Get one and remove that. Find your second and remove that. Now with that removed, it does set here and hang a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove one screw that holds this side plate on. The reason why we're doing that is so that it gives the thermostat wires and the, um, the thermostatic bulb and the freezer control the ability to hang down a little bit further. Once we have that one removed and loosen the control housing and remove the one cover going along the back, we're gonna now remove the actual damper cover so that we can take the thermostatic bulb off of the damper and complete our repair on removing the thermostat and replacing it. So what we're gonna do now is remove the one screw that holds it in place, which is right here. It is a Phillips head screw, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Once that screw is out, this damper cover is basically going to swing out a little bit and then come off. Once you have that removed, you'll notice that you have the thermostatic bulb, which is the one in the plastic, which runs down 
and comes and wraps around the damper. So we're gonna remove that from the damper. Just grab at any point of it and pull it free so that it comes loose. Once you've got it loose, that is now free. We can now come back up to the very front and to the control housing and we can drop this down some. Once we've got it dropped down, we can now see that here's our thermostat. This is where you may, uh, you may wanna take a picture of it to make sure it's going back in position how you want it to go. You will see that you have a little, couple little uh, light bars that come through. These actually go in, one goes into the black dot here, the other one comes over here to this black dot. This one has to come out to remove the thermostat and it was already out so we're just gonna set it aside. We're gonna take out the two Phillips head screws to release the actual thermostat. We're gonna take it out and then take the two wires off this side and the ground wire off this side. So now the little optic light, this has uh, now been removed. It goes into this blue piece right here on the back side so that the light from the light bulb can transfer up and illuminate this. What we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws one from each side. Once those are removed, we can then go ahead and lift the thermostat out of place. You notice my one screw fell, the other one's right here. I pick this one up, and you notice that the other one fell out. It's down here in the bottom. I'll just get this one picked up as well. Once we have them set aside, we can now see that we have one, two, three wires to remove. We're gonna remove them from the thermostat. Now we're gonna remove the ground wire as well. Once those are removed, we're now gonna take the thermostat out. Now with the thermostat out, but you have this plastic that goes over the thermostatic bulb. What we're gonna have to do is we have to remove that unless you wanna buy a new to put on the new thermostat. Pretty simple to remove. You're just gonna hold on to the thermostat, hold on to the plastic sheathing, and pull it out. It doesn't always come out super easy. It doesn't always go in just as easy either. But once you get it started and you get it pulled out, it should slide right off, and then you'll have it in hand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this back over the new thermostat we're gonna have and put it back in place. A um, Couple tricks, some people will put a little bit of soap or a little bit of something on here to make it slide a little bit easier. I tend to not do that, but it is something that you can do if you feel the need and you can't get it back on. So now we have the new thermostat in hand. What we're gonna do is take and install the plastic sheath back over the thermostatic bulb your thermostat is going to come all wound up. You're going to want to straighten it out like I've done on this one. With this straight, you're just going to start with the end, slide your plastic sheath over, and you're going to work to get it back over the new thermostat. As you're pushing it through, since you are using the old plastic sheath, you may get a tough spot that is a resistant spot. And when you do, you may have to find where it's at as far as the bend goes and straighten it back out. Warm it up a little bit with your hands to try and get it to stay straight a little bit. Get a little more pliability out of it. Once you've got that done, bring it back up and push it back on. You'll notice when I'm pushing, I'm keeping my hands really close to this part where I'm pushing it and pushing on because you don't want to be far away and push and kink and bend this line. So very closely. Gonna work to try and slide it on there as well as you can and get it all the way back on. And you'll know you have it all the way back on when you move to the very end. You see, I went too far. This part needs to stay in the end of the plastic. We're gonna pull it back out just a little bit. And once you get it pulled back out a little bit, we're now at the end of the plastic tube. It's inside, it's not protruding out the end. With it like that, we can now reinstall the thermostat. We're gonna take the thermostatic bulb and we're gonna slide it back into the unit 
We're not really worried about where it's going right now because we're going to attach that after we put the thermostat back on. So once we have that back in there, slid back through, we're going to take and we're going to reconnect our wires. With your wires, get them slid onto your thermostat. Find your ground wire again. Put your ground wire back on. Now you've had you have that in position, and now you can see again this little plastic uh, light transfer is in my way, so I'm going to put that out of the way a little bit. Set this kind of down in position where it goes. You'll be able to see that now I'm kind of at my screw markings or my screw holes. I'm going to hold it in place. I'm going to take one of my screws, and I'm going to go ahead and start it in the slot or in the hole that it goes and then tighten it down. This can be tightened fairly down tight as, as, as tight as you want it or as tight as it should be at this point to hold it in place. We're gonna take our next one and we're gonna position that and get it put into the screw hole that it goes into. Find that one and we're gonna start it. Once it's started, we're gonna tighten that back down. With that tightened back down, from here, we're gonna take a little light transfer here. We're gonna take, and I'm gonna run it back under the wires. Let's bring it back under the wires. I'm gonna find the black little rubber boot in here. And I'm gonna stick it back inside there so it's held in place, just like this one is over here. Now that we've completed the repair, uh, installation of the new part, we're gonna go ahead and remount the control housing back into position. If you remember, we had two screws in the front and two that were in the back. I'm gonna show you the four right here so you can see them. The two with the big washers go in the back side of the unit. The two with the smaller washers that are actually attached to the head of the screw go into the front. So we're gonna start by putting the two in the front so that it is held up relatively into the right position. So we're gonna lift up to where it goes approximately, and then we're gonna start one. I'm gonna go ahead and start the other. Once they're started, they're holding it in place. You can tighten them down further now if you want. I'm gonna give them just a couple more turns to get them inside of their spot a little bit better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the underside and put the two back ones in so that I know that they're in the right position. So start, put one on your, your uh, quarter inch nut driver. Find the position and then tighten that one down. Take your second one. Find your position and tighten that one down. What that does for you is holds it in place. Now you can see that this is pretty much secured. We're gonna go ahead and now tighten these back down. Now once those are tightened down, uh, we can go ahead and replace the fascia. The fascia Again, remember that the bottom of it sets inside of these plastic openings right here. These plastic pieces right here set inside the plastic housing right here. So we're gonna take and start by positioning those into the approximate position. Once we've got them where they should go approximately, you're just gonna push the top in. Once the top is pushed in, that part is now reinstalled. We're gonna go ahead and now finish the repair by running this, the thermostatic bulb, back to where it goes. So you can kind of see that it's gotta come up and through here, and it must come around. And what you're gonna notice is that this part has gotta be looped back around to go back into here. So what you're gonna do, is bring it back up and over. 
You can even take them partially before you get it in position, kind of start to bend it around to where it goes. And what I'll do is I'll bring it up, I'll take my top portion, and I'll get my top portion secured. The top portion is the actual end of the thermostatic bulb coming through. So when I have that positioned, and now you may take two hands, hold the top in place, Once you have that back in place, you get it secured all the way around. You can now test with your freezer control and kind of slide it back and forth to make sure that it is moving, which mine is. With that back in place, we can now take the damper cover. The damper cover is basically got a tab over here that slides into the back wall. And then you have a screw hole right here that you put your Phillips head screwdriver back in or your screw back in to hold it in place. So we're gonna start by putting it in the notch in the back wall, holding it back over in place. It's gonna set there kind of where it goes. We can now take one of the Phillips head screws we removed and fasten it back into position. Now with that back in position, we can now reinstall the cover. We're going to go ahead and reinstall the cover that goes over here and start the screw. Once it's started, we can finish tightening it down. The cover will set in approximate position. Once you have that in place, that completes your repair. Thank you for watching another quality repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.